Hi there everybody, my name is Robert Llewellyn and welcome to Carpool. Uh, this week's episode features a very old friend of mine, a man called Stephen Garrett. Now, a lot of you won't have heard of Stephen probably directly, though you probably have seen his name on credits of various programmes on TV. He is a television producer, very successful, a successful one. He set up a company called, I'm just keeping an eye out for him because he's going to get in the car quite soon. Uh, he set up a company called Qdos a few years ago. He does programmes such as Spooks, um, Hustle, MI High. He's produced movies, or most recently, um, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. So, Stephen Garrett, ladies and gentlemen. So, I've already introduced you before you got in. What did he say? I said How was I introduced? That you're Stephen Garrett and you're wonderful and you're lovely. But and now all I can do is disappoint. <laughs> and you're a TV producer of enormous skill and knowledge uh, and experience. Okay. And I then mentioned some of the things that I could remember you done, which wasn't that many. Like what? Miss Pettigrew for a day, spooks, Good. hustle, Good. am I high? Good. Um, in terms of Qdos's output, Life yeah. on Mars might be something life your viewers. I mean, I think, <laughs> frankly, given one or two of them, people who one or two might, of them may have seen I that. I think so. And that was mar marginally successful. Marginally successful. <laughs> Bit of a cult hit. God, you're not and and uh, so we're making now uh, Ashes to Ashes, which has come out of it. With right, really so you're ashes. making more Ashes to Ashes? Oh yeah. Right. That's happening as we speak. Right. Um, and the really exciting thing, not that what you just mentioned isn't exciting, yeah. um, is that we are making in New York um, for ABC an wow. American version of Life on Mars starring Harvey Keitel. You're kidding. Playing Phil Glenister. Wow, wow. And an amazing cast. Gretchen Moll, wonderful actress from the movies, playing Annie. I don't You've know if I know her, but I do, but I've um, no face. And she was in a movie called Betty Page recently. Uh, you'd like it, because it's sure. got girls in it. You won't wear very many clothes. And, um, <laughs> I might not like that. I'm old now. I don't like that. You can edit that out, though, yeah. if you don't like that remark. <laughs> um, and then if you're a Sopranos fan, yeah. Michael Imperioli, what? who was Christopher in The Sopranos. <sighs> Legend. Um, playing one of the cops. Wow. In the game. So it's just astonishing. Wow. And the writers are fantastic. And American uh, writers. American writers. Right. Um, great team. But that's a Qdos production. Well, Qdos are involved. Right. We're kind of. It's like in association with. Right. I mean, where, as you can see, I'm here. Yes. <laughs> I'm not there. And are they shooting that now, and, or are they um, preparing to shoot that? No, they're shooting. I mean, oh, in God. fact, we should be getting the first cut of the first episode wow. of the weekend. An amazing cast, and I have to say, I felt like a sort of tragic fan when I wandered into Harvey's dressing. Well, yeah. No, he's a... Because I have actually met him. He's one of the very, very few proper Hollywood stars I've ever well, met. Well, there's, some, there's something we've got in common. Yeah. And I didn't... We I both didn't met speak. Harvey Keitel. Yeah. Not yeah. many people who sit in a prize in London who no. both met Harvey who Keitel. both met, yeah. I mean, you know, I say met. I stood next to him while he was talking at Shepperton Studios years ago. But he did say hi, and he shook my hand. He'd probably remember it. I bet he wouldn't. <laughs> His email address got some weird thing like... You shouldn't give it out. No, I'm not going give to it, give it out, but it's something to do with goats that dance. Wow. And you Harvey, can bleep part of that. No, Harvey Keitel's email address is just so cool. To have, to, for you, the fact that you know it is just... It proves that you are the legend that I introduced I'd love to, to pretend we're very close friends and that we're spending all available <laughs> hours together, but we're not. Harvey Keitel, bad lieutenant. That's yeah, one, that's, that's good. <laughs> I know Harvey's work very well. He speaks very highly of yours too. Sure. That, that's all we talked about. He said, I want to be in the Red Dwarf movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know about that because you've had such success in what is now seen as sort of traditional linear television type production through the traditional sources of funding. Yes, and... you're the enemy. Well, yeah, well uh, yes, that's the intriguing thing, am I? Put it this way, at the moment we have explored the world of new media and things digital and non-linear. Right. Um, oh, as a production company, because that's why I'm intrigued to know yeah, well, if proper producers have talked about it. Oh, absolutely, no, no, we more than talk about right. it. We spend quite a lot of time talking about it, thinking about it. Yeah. We've kind of dabbled in it um, and we're regularly approached by um, the kind of usual suspects to see if we want to make you know, kind of web-based dramas. Absurdly cheap web-based dramas. Well, that is the problem, yeah. because what we do costs thousands and thousands and thousands of turn left yeah. here, please, driver. Um, thousands and thousands of pounds an hour. Right. And they're offering one or two thousand. Everybody's going, oh, look at that, what polite people on the Caledonian Road. Good if we had a live accident, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, no. 
to be handy in court. What happened? Well, I was conducting oh, the interview. I, I was a bit distracted. Yeah, I was slightly distracted as I was talking. Um, but you talk to people. This is my argument. You talk to people when you're in. If you, if I was just giving you a lift now without cameras, what would we be doing? But are you concentrating silent? extra hard? No. Worrying about whether the microphones are working, your three cameras are working. No, I worry about that when I get home and go shit. The whether the, the five elves out of vision <laughs> at the back <laughs> twiddling knobs. But I think, no, I mean, I think the thing is, the thing that attracts me to it and why I can absolutely understand why you're not attracted to it, you don't need to be, for one thing, because you don't attracted need to... Attracted to what? To, to transmitting or distributing visual media on the internet. You know, there's no need for you to do it. Well, there is, it well, is, is but there may all be... All it is is a problem of piracy for you. I mean, that, that you, I'm sure that it is possible to download episodes of any of the programmes you made from a BitTorrent site. I mean, I've actually never actually it looked... It is. No, Spook, sure Spooks is. is quite popular on the yeah. pirates. The truth is me and most other independent producers, we all became accidental businessmen. We, yes. We'd do this because we wanted to make programs. Yeah, and it you... turned out that running a company was the easiest way to be in some vague control over what you do. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately then what happens when you're successful, you end up growing an overhead and we've got a lot of mouths to feed now. The interesting question is, I suppose, how we would set ourselves up if we were starting now. I think it'd be quite hard. Yeah. I think it'd be impossible, in fact, to make a standing start and make the, the, the if you like, the mainstream, anal, you know, old-fashioned, old-world TV shows that we make. Yeah. Um, we might be inclined to try, you know, a much leaner, meaner, new business model for the net, but I still don't know how you get around the quality that would be required to yes. really make something of value. And it's important to of value. remind people that you, when you say that you don't mean the, necessarily the visual or audio quality, you no, mean the quality all, of no, the I think, I mean, I've, actually, I've been quite impressed. I mean, again, it's not great, it's pretty basic, but yeah. well, it's, relatively, it's relatively, relatively fast, yeah. speaking, that's much closer to the old world in terms of quality, in terms of, you know, the quality of picture, quality of yeah. sound. The one, the failing is the writing. Yeah, because I mean, my first attempt at doing online video, it, every time anybody watched anything we did, it cost us money. <laughs> it's a rather a bad business model. Yes, that's an appalling yeah, business I used to like to compare it to baked beans on a shelf in a my, my brother worked for an early film channel as their film buyer. It was called 10, which stood for The Entertainment Network. Right. And he worked out, and he used to have to go to all these kind of markets buying movies and things. He worked out it'd be cheaper to take their entire subscriber base to the markets with him to show them the films rather than actually <laughs> buy them. The, the, the interesting thing was, the clue was that lots of people watched it, so it cost us a lot of money for a very short period of time so we had to pull it all off because it couldn't, we couldn't sustain so it. So what was your loss on that? Oh, it wasn't phenomenal, but I mean, it was probably 25 grand. I mean, not personally, but the Sorry. business. Sorry, okay, so over two years you've made $100. Oh, yeah. From your advertising, and you've lost how much? <laughs> no, you've lost but not how much? personally. Not personally. I think I don't know what. Right, you've been instrumental in the loss, in the loss of, of twenty-five thousand pounds. Yeah. Okay, and now this is yeah. looking. This is getting more appealing yeah. by the second. Yeah. So I can't understand why you're not getting involved. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, I'm also. If I'd had any doubts before I started this journey, I'm now really very clear that I've embarked on the right path. <laughs> So thank you. It's been very therapeutic. I just, that's really, I just wanted to give you a lift to no, reassure you. you you're doing the right and thing. And I'm glad. It's lucky we got stuck behind this bus because we might have ended our journey too soon before <laughs> I had certainty delivered to yeah, me. You may, you may have jumped out as soon as you got in and I could have been run in back doubt, to the office. with doubt. And quickly, get a website going. We've yeah. got to put spooks on the internet. But no, not no, anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> no, in fact, I'm going to throw my computer away. It's pointless. But what, I mean, then the other, so the flip side is, what is the you know, the existing media industry going to do about the internet? Because they've, because that, that's the thing, I mean, has, has, do you reckon well, lessons have been learned by... I think, I think what is happening clearly, and this is where the internet is invaluable, is the, there's a kind of, um, I think it's called convergence, but they, that is a word that tends to be used at meetings in which I fall asleep. But... Electric car, sorry. Your viewers can't see it. That's no. just an annoying thing no, to say. You've just it pointed. That's a, that's a I could say, look, an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Woman with a blue t-shirt. Zebra. Zebra. <laughs> Man spitting. Um. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're getting in the rough part of town where Stephen lived now. People it's are very rough. on the street. Uh, <laughs> yes, but what they're spitting, it's quality spittle. <laughs> or sputum, as I think it's known in the trade. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, convergence. So, the the you know, the old model where you know, you made something, it was out on TV, and then 
months, if not years later, appeared on d video, then yeah. DVD. So the, the window's breaking down. So going back to, say, movies, I think what you're talking about, the various platforms no longer having, sort of operating in a different time continuum, it, there will be a kind of growing simultaneity, you want to take the next left, um, of, uh, of things appearing. So, you know, a new movie might well... Uh, appear in the Odeon Leicester Square and then take first right um, and you'd pay 20 quid to be there. Yeah. Um, it might appear simultaneously as um, as a download right. um, for, I don't know, 15 quid, 10 quid right. or something, but, but you know, all these things will just be yeah. available and just, you'll just choose your platform. Yeah. Um, and I think at the moment DVDs and Blu-rays are kind of appealing things to have but when everyone's upgraded their technology yeah. and you can simply hit a button and, yeah. and have it piped into your home. Yeah. Um, no, again, I that so, so I think as a means for distribution and a kind of simultaneous uh, way of experiencing, uh, follow the... Follow the stationary taxi. Yes, drive through <laughs> that orange taxi. Now you sweetly pointed out Tony Blair's house. Yeah, oh, he did around here. Well, this is going to appeal to your viewers, not boring old politicians right. or people like you, but Ricky Gervais lives oh. in the street. Ah, oh, Ricky Gervais. Yes. Lives Caused a bit of a stink, apparently. We can't point it out with the neighbours because he apparently dug under... This was in the local newspaper, so I'm not telling tales out of school. <laughs> he dug under his floor or something to create a swimming pool and a golf course, which apparently caused some consternation. Now, if you can squeeze yourself into this little spot, I'll get oh, you yeah. a voucher. Oh, right, because there's a man there. There's a man there. and Ready it's, and waiting to do and, it. Because this is where it is. You well, get killed up to 8 o'clock at night. Right. Well, wh while I'm reversing, I'd just like to say, Stephen, thank you very much for being on Carpool. Uh, it's been a privilege and a really enjoyable experience. And again, it's actually taught me a little bit about my own business model. Well, it is, yeah. Look at that. I have to say, was that a good park or it was what? It a good park, and you didn't even use... Because these cars... Have oh, a little yeah, you thing. Do. No, I've never. I haven't bothered to read oh, the instructions. Oh, no, no mine idea. Have it. it does it automatically. No, yours is, of course, because you're a very successful producer. Yours is more yeah, I paid. Than I mine. paid two p more. <laughs>